Hi guys and girls! Do you like challenges? Well, painting realistic skin can be a real challenge. Finding the perfect balance between temperature, highlights and shadows is really hard. Painting something that is so natural to human eyes makes us notice any difference. A green tone and carrots can look sick, a red tone and maybe they have a fever, a flat paint and it doesn't look realistic at all. After painting a lot of small miniatures, Lute has just released the Heroes Boost. And even being a big challenge for me, I accept it and I'm bringing what I have learned to you in this three video series here in our channel. So, I will paint the skin of these three busts that our subscribers received in January's bundle, or conspiracy. I will show you some techniques that I've learned in this process and hopefully you can apply them and paint your busts too. In this first video, I will be painting Mehiki the Leaf, the rogue halfling in this awesome cloak. And this is the color scheme that will be available for download at the link in the description. So, let's do it! Before painting, I applied Zenital Primer. That is the technique which you apply a black primer in the whole piece. And then a white primer from above. This way, you simulate shadows, which helps you paint the miniature. To paint a miniature with high contrast, it's interesting to think how the light will be and imagine one or more light sources. The simplest way to do it is choosing a light source from above, 35 degrees, one in front of the model, and another one from the back illuminating the center of the piece, this area. I usually paint it in a way that you can see from different angles, so even if the light is stronger in this region, it can be seen from any angle, but the bust can be painted to be seen just from one angle too, so you can choose one part and work more on it, increasing the contrast. Sometimes you can add light in some spots that you want to draw attention to. In this mini, for example, you can illuminate here, close to the weapons. Back to this piece. If the light is come from above, it will be lighten more the nose, the chin, the checks. Here it will be darker, cause the cloak will leave shadows. So under the hair it will be darker, in the center it will be lighter. And here in the neck there will be almost no light. With the zenithal priming technique we will be able to see where to paint the light and the shadows. We are going to divide the painting process in some steps. The first step is the base coat. That will be the darkest tone, actually the darkest of the mid-tones. So, we will apply it in the whole piece. And then we will start the second part when we will lighten it. To lighten it, we will use a lot of tones. The number of tones you use will depend on how big the model is. We are going to use a lot of tones so the layers will appear less and the skin color transitions will be smoother. We will start with the dark color, then we will come with a lighter one and apply it in 80 to 90% of the piece. For example, here will be the darker color, then you can lighten a little, then a little more, making a gradient. So here in the check, where it is lighter, we will use lighter tones, until you get to the point that receives more light. Let's go to the base coat. I will start with leather brown. and I will add black.
Now I will use just the leather brown. Since the neck is darker, I will use less tones on it. I will use a smaller brush now. I want it to be a little reddish, so I will use deep brown. The contrast is too high, so I will darken it a little bit. Now, I will apply a base coat in the mouth. I chose Dark Flash. That is a brown with a touch of purple. Now, I will continue lighting using Deep Brown. I will mix a little bit of dark flesh tone with deep brown. Adding sunny skin tone. When it leaves marks in the transitions, you can smooth it later with a brush or with very diluted paint. Now I will light more, mixing this color with sun skin tone. Dry it with cold air. 
I will start the eyes with an almost black grey. So I will mix pale grey with black. I will add more sun skin tone mixing with dark flesh tone. I will add a little bit of salmon to see how it will look. I think it needs to be darker, so I will add deep brown. I will paint the hair using dark brown. orange to this dark brown and apply it to the hair. Now, I will add more salmon in the mixture of the skin and a little bit of orange as well. Remember to apply it in the lighter parts. I will not cover the whole face, so leave the shadows areas. Add magenta to the wet palette. Mix it with deep brown and apply it in the mouth. I will add gray to the eyes. So you make a lighter gray adding white. Adding an even lighter tone to the skin.
I will add the luminous flash to the mixture and apply it in the lighter parts. Pure deep brown applying it in the hair. Now I use the nerve. I will mix a little bit of dark flesh tone. I will use golden yellow after the tan nerve. Trying to get a lighter color of the mouth mixture by adding the nerve, so I can get light in the mouth as well. I will start using the airbrush. So, I will mix one part of the Stamias thinner with one part water. This is what I use to dilute the paints. I will start with Luminous Flash. There is already in the wet palette. I will add a little bit of this mixture of deep brown and magenta. I'm starting with the lighter color to blend the layers that were marked. Sometimes it is difficult to read it with the airbrush, so you can use the brush to do it. Now I will use a dark color. Magenta, deep brown. Always use the brush to gently smooth the layers. Now I'm just using the air so it can dry. And in this little part, 
that I didn't reach, I will paint using the brush. Ok, so now I'm darkening it, adding a dark brown to paint the shadows. Now I'm using deep brown with leather brown in the darker parts. Now I'm darkening using the first brown with magenta and I will use this leather brown. So, when the layers are very apparent and you need to smooth them, you can use the brush with this very diluted paint. I added beige and I'm applying it directly in the hair in the most lightened parts. Don't forget the eyebrows. Now I will add pale sand. Ok, now for the eyes, I'm adding pale blue. Turquoise. And black. need a very thin brush and stillness to paint eyes. I will not enter in the details in this video, but if you want a video explaining how to paint eyes, please leave a comment below. Now I'm applying gray to the middle of the eyes. Then black. mix red and rolled rose. Marking the edge of the eyes. Pure old rose. Now I will smooth the transitions, blending the layers with mixtures of both colors. Now I will add some colors here, deep brown, orange brown, 
Flat flesh. Dark flesh. Sunny skin tone. In some cases, I will need to mix yellow. Above the mouth is a little lighter, but no deep shadows. Just finish to smooth the neck transitions.
that's it guys so what do you think leave a comment below i appreciate all the feedbacks don't forget to like this video subscribe to our channel and click on the bell thanks for watching and i see you in the next tutorial bye bye